for it. Hey, Senator Vance. Senator Vance. Uh, Nick Oxner, WBTV. I want to ask you about Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Uh, the Lieutenant Governor was with you on stage with you in trying to ask the question, if you'll let me ask it. The Lieutenant Governor was on. I know I get this. Senator, the Lieutenant Governor was on stage with you and the, and the foreign president at your uh, August 21st rally in Ashboro, but he's not here with you today. He wasn't with the former president in Wilmington in the wake of the CNN investigation. What, is there something disqualifying about the comments uncovered by CNN that wasn't disqualifying about any of the previous comments he made? Is, is that the question? Look, look, here's, here's, here's my view on the lieutenant governor. First of all, what he said or didn't say is ultimately between him and the people of North Carolina. The people of North Carolina are going to make that decision. Now, look, I've seen some of the statements. I haven't seen them all. Some of them are pretty gross. Uh, to put it mildly, Mark Robinson says that those statements are false, that he didn't actually speak to, speak them. So I think it's up to Mark Robinson to make his case to the people of North Carolina that those weren't his statements, and I'm going to let him make that case. But look, I, I got to say, th 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 this entire episode illustrates something that is fundamentally broken about the American media. You've got in this country right now a record number of Americans who are dying of fentanyl overdoses thanks to Kamala Harris's policies. You've got a record number of young Americans who can't afford to buy a home thanks to Kamala Harris's policies. And you've got a, a record number of Americans who are struggling to buy groceries thanks to Kamala Harris's policies. The media ought to focus on Kamala Harris and her failure. more interested in pursuing policies that correct the problems of Kamala Harris. A sex scandal in North Carolina is between the lieutenant governor and the people of North Carolina. They're going to make their decision and we support them.